Hey everybody, Captain Gavtron here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Jack 3. Bet you're wondering why I'm in the deserts, because today we're doing an orbs episode as much as I'd rather not. But we're so close, we're 91% of the way through the game, so it just makes more sense to go ahead and get this done now, in my eyes. I hope you don't disagree with me. So we're just going to get started here, and this will be the first challenge here. So, they want eight Skull Gems. Here we go. If you want to prove your driving skills, let's see you take on the wheel challenge again. Beat the best time around the track to impress me and earn a prize. Yeah, sure thing, Cleaver. So, sadly, sadly, so, so sadly, this is another post-commentary video. I hate doing post-commentary videos, and I intended to do this all, you know commentating as I was playing the game however there's just too many fails me getting too ticked off too quickly and uh, I mean as you can see this race is not starting off well <laughs> and uh, this is not the first time I actually started this race I actually already before this recorded a 30 minute video and I failed for 30 minutes at this race because I was using the see look <laughs> it's just I'm bad racing because I should have used a little go-kart race car here. I do have unlimited boost at this time. I remember we unlocked locked that recently. Uh, but yeah, so... As much as I hate post-commentating, really this is the only way to have a good, decent video. And uh, if you notice, to get to the bronze medal up there in the left top left corner of the screen, it says 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's just, you have to beat the race at 3 minutes and 30 seconds to get the bronze medal. Meaning you're going to have to race again for the gold afterwards. Possibly the silver. I, I don't think in this one. I think you only have to race for the bronze and the gold in this one. But there's another race we're going to do later. See, look how bad this is. Look how terrible I'm playing right now. It's just absolute garbage of gameplay. <laughs> Guys, first off, real quick, let me tell you, I apologize for not, you know, being consistent this past couple weeks with either games or vlogs. I, I do apologize, but I just, it was too crazy at work. I didn't have the time and the energy when I got done with my days, you know, because I'm working 10, 11 hour days some of those days, and it's just a lot of hurt, <laughs> and there were heavy duty setups that we had to do, and I know y'all will understand, and you know, I mean, my I don't have that many viewers right now, so I would assume it's not that big of a deal. And I know when I become a little bit bigger, consistency will be more important. I mean, I'm not saying it's not important right now, because it is. I'm not saying y'all don't matter. Heavens no, y'all do, you know, the people who watch my videos. Because I don't just record these for myself. I record these so others may enjoy what I grew up enjoying. Can you see how bad I'm racing right now? It's absolutely terrible, but I do have a full minute left. Well, 50, 30, 45 seconds left until this race is over. So we totally make it. There's no doubt about it there. But right here coming up, I did hit the A button because I was finally excited. We finally finished it, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Yay. And see, I hit the A button without reading the menu. I didn't mean to. See, now we got to beat the gold in three minutes. So that was, what, six seconds past three minutes there? And I got it my first try here on going for the gold, but this is like the seventh or eighth time I've done this race. Probably more like ten. But these challenges are meant to be tough. I mean, they wouldn't be side challenges if they weren't tough, you know? I mean, some of them are, some of them aren't. And I do mind you have a guide with me I or not the strategy guide I printed out a map showing all the placements of the orb locations like the um, the whatchamacallits the statues that start your orb and if it's one where it say find the orb it'll show you the path you have to take however it shows you the general area of where it is because the map is so small and the mass of the the land mass is so huge massive and it can't be point spot on accurate it gives you the general idea 
so I'm not wasting as much time. So I, I am in a way cheating, but I it's just for my, I mean, there's no way I could do all this by myself and get this done before Christmas. It's not going to happen. So I've, I mean, I hope y'all don't mind me using this because I don't know where they all are. I've never done it before. You have to keep in mind, I'm not doing this just, you know, to get the game 100% through. You don't have to get this, do any of this to get the game 100% through. It is not required at any point. I'm doing this for myself because I've never done it before, and it'll make me feel like I'm accomplishing something I've never done before. You know, and it makes me happy to think about it. So, if y'all don't like it, please just brave heart through it. I know it's, you know, four or five episodes that are not important, y'all don't want to watch, may not want to watch. It's, it, it, I mean, we'll see. And I am going to be speeding up the races in the future. Because I should have sped this up because there's no reason I should be showing you this race twice. And I don't know why I didn't speed it up. It would have helped save some space and time. But, um, yeah. So, this is the last lap. And we are doing very good. And you know we're doing very good because I cut to the last one. Uh, so, you know I'm going to make it. I think only one area I showed you where I failed a couple times in this video. And that was just to show you that there's something here. There's a thing you have to do, a mission, a side mission. It's so absolutely crazy. We'll get to it later on. But uh, there's the end of the race. And uh, we make it in 2.51. Yep, there we go. Alright, now the next couple precursor orb statues are near the track here. And so we're going to go over, where am I going? Oh yeah, see I started the mission again. Okay, now the next couple of orbs, like I was saying, are just around the corner here. And if you look at the map, you can see where we are here. I'm going to show it to you. And you can see how many of those green dots there are. There's a lot of them. These things are everywhere. So we won't get them all in this video as much as I would like to. So... For now, we'll just get what we can and we'll call it good, you know? So, now get into the two that are, well, the one area that's over here. I said two, I don't know why it's right here. And, uh, only one's first, four, four skull gems. And allow one sacred spot in the desert. Reach it, and we will see if you are as great as they say. It's not really that secret, it's open and play side, and it's actually right around the corner here. Sometimes they'll give you a lot more time than you're required, but, uh, they don't have to. I mean, see, I fail because I'm just bad. But sometimes they'll give you a... Once again, you prove the stories were true. You were women. You are Okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, they will give you a longer time frame than what you need, but it's just to throw you off. So here, just past the track, I couldn't describe where I am. You can get to it going both ways. Heroes must have quick feet. Get to this spot in time for a reward. Okay, so see, this is on a hill and a slope. So you know you're on a hill and a slope. You just It only makes sense to go right around the corner. And sure enough, I got this my first try. But see, if I would have drove right past it the first time, I would have got it, you know, with 12 Excellent. seconds left. What I'm talking to you about. They will purposely give you too much time to throw you off. Now, in the whole time I played this game, watch this. This spot was a place of reflection by the great warrior Ma. Reach it in time, and the prize is yours. I never knew these were here in this game. This is on an island. I didn't even know you could go out to these islands. But they're just look, look at their stairs here. Look at them. Their stairs. I'm gonna show them to you again here in a bit. And that first island that we just passed, it's not there. It's on the second island. I didn't know that. I, I mean, Ma would be proud of you, warrior, as I'll be. Yeah, I did go check this island out to make sure nothing else was there. There's not, but I tell you what, these stairs. Look how, look at them. They're so cool, but they're big. Why are they so big? They don't even match a normal human's footsteps. But I just wanted to show those to you. Alright, now we're going to follow the shore here. And the next one is just down the road. Actually, quite a ways there. 
Here we are. Move quickly to this spot and show me why we should trust the fate of this world to you. And there it is. It's out on the water again, or on a little island. The I can't say it's the only one right there, because there's one just south of where we're looking at, or not south, behind us, I should say, because I don't know that I'm falling south. Very good. You give us hope for the future. Yeah. Okay. The next one here is by these waterfalls on the op on this far side of this stream, and. Uh, it's on the very far end of these waterfalls. It's right next to it. And, uh, well, it's just beside it a little ways. And we'll move the vehicle a little bit closer just in case I need this it. This spot was a place of reflection by the great warrior Ma. Reach it in time, and the prize is yours. And it is right next to the waterfall. That's, that's not hard to find at all as long as you know where the waterfall is, you know? That was an easy one. They do give you quiet around the right about the time you need it. You can get to these with your jet board. But I did not get to them with my jet board. I got to them with the car. Now we're going to go through this tunnel. We're going to take the right. And we're going to have the long race. 12 skulls. That's a lot. If you want to prove your driving skills, let's see you take on the wheel challenge again. Beat the best time around the track to impress me and earn a prize. Now this is the long race I was telling you about. I have sped it up because it takes so long. It takes four minutes and 45 seconds to get around this trap. Uh, trap. Track. I could call it a trap. This is when I stopped my recording in this track because I was so irritated. I probably did this race ten times before I stopped recording. So you know what, why did I even think I could do this, you know, while I was recording? Honestly, I should have known better, because right? it's, it's blind to me. I've never done any of this before. And so, you know, I just really wanted to, I was so sure I could do it while I was commentating. But, and I won't show you this, you have to actually do this three times. You have to do it for the both, or all three, the bronze and the silver and the gold. And so I'm not going to make y'all watch this thing. I will have you watch it here, the first the first laps, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like and understand how difficult it can be. I mean, thank God I have the boost, the unlimited boost. I don't know how in God's holy name I would have ever finished this without unlimited boosting. <laughs> Good thing it's not a cheat, you know. It's just an upgrade, it's not a cheat. Uh, see, look, I, I turned backwards. It's things like that because it's not a flat surface. It's hills and ranges. And it's it's just difficult when you're, you know... When there's a time clock, I mess up. I screw up. I make mistakes. See, I just made two in that cave. In that short little cave, I made two mistakes. However, I was doing good enough that I did finish it. This is the last lap. And, uh, no, we're not quite there yet. I, I, we're right around the corner from it. But I will show you, you know, when I'm getting the silver, just the last part of it, I think. And then the gold while I'm doing the last part of it, too. I can't remember what exactly I cut out, because I actually cut all this, or the majority of it, yesterday. And I finished cutting everything, putting everything together today, just about 20 minutes ago. Now I'm recording. Okay, now I don't remember exactly what I'm going to cut to, but that was the first lap. I beat it by, what was it, 5 seconds? Well, 4 sec, 4.10 seconds, or 4 point, I don't know what you call it. But, anywho, yeah. Take a drink here. Mm, good stuff. Alright, the silver is 4 minutes and 30 seconds, so they're cutting it by 10 seconds. Please don't tell me I showed this whole race. I think I sped it up as fast as I could. I think that's what it was. Yeah, it is. I'm looking at the cut of the uh, clip in the viewer right now. And it looks to me, yeah, I did show this whole race. But the third race, I, do, I know for sure I don't show it. Because I'm like, good God, I don't need to show this three times. I don't even need to show it a second time. I don't know why I did. 
I should have cut this just to the end because y'all know what the track looks like now. Blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, it's going to take us all of 30 seconds to get around here again, so. What can I talk about, you know? I'm excited, guys. Oh, just keep in mind here, we start with 55 orbs, you know, precursor orbs, and we start off with 169 uh, skull gems. Up oh, here's the end. Okay. There it is. I won the silver. And uh, now I'm going to cut to the... See, I, here, I cut to the end of the gold. And uh, 425, they cut five seconds off, so it really wasn't that bad. And there we go. That's it. Okay. Now, this next challenge is so odd because it's it's very different than any challenge I've seen here. It's a lot like the uh, skateboard challenge. Now, it's up here by these bridges. You know, you see all these broken bridges here. Oh. Oh, I guess I went to this one right around the corner first. I don't know why I forgot about that. Heroes must have quick feet. Get to this spot in time for a reward. Okay, well, this one's right down the corner here. But you see, I did cut because it put me in my car. If you're standing next to the idol, it won't put you in a car right away. Excellent. I see such promise in you. Okay, now here by the bridges, I think. Yeah, we're going up here by the bridges. There's one up here. This is so odd. I thought it was there. It's right around the corner here. So I look at this. This is so interesting. I've never seen this before. Never done this. Trade 16 skull gems. That's a lot. Jump challenges with the vehicle. Single hand time challenges. What we are going to do first. I've never seen this before. Never done it before. This challenge is for the single best hang time in a vehicle jump. Get more air. Beat the record, and I'll give up the loot. Tell you what, th guys, I got so irritated at this. Because this is what you do here. You jump, and it you, you have to be in the air for 2.5 seconds to get the bronze. And it's so crazy. You have, what, five separate challenges here? And it's so difficult when you're, you see that time clock, you're, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, see, right there, I got the bronze, but that's bronze. Look, 3.5, they had right. another yes, second of air time there, another second, Running another full the second. If you pass, they do not restart you there, say, would you like to try again? You have to go back and find the statue, and I'm not doing a very good job of once I get back to it, like I did here, um, we'll go ahead and do the same challenge again. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This challenge measures your ability to get a distance jump in a vehicle. Longest jump wins. The rest go home. So this challenge is the furthest distance covered in a jump. So you get 180 feet to, you know, pass the bronze. I got 144 feet there. By the way, and I fail this, I think... Oh, no, I think I do get the bronze. But, uh... This is tough. It really is. I showed you that one to show you a fail. This is the second time I tried this. And this is me actually getting the bronze in my last moment of this race. I think it's the last jump I have. I can't remember. And the secret to this, I figured it out as I was playing, but I couldn't get myself to do it you have to hit the boost and jump just before a jump but you got to do it at a hill where you're going to be going down with the hill as it goes down so you got to find the perfect hit there like a streak in bird you was giving up the prize is easy okay so i got 188 feet now i gotta get 200 feet for the server but i had this great idea let's get the jumping vehicle so i went back and i got the jumping vehicle because i said why don't I just get the vehicle that's meant to jump? I could, I could knock everything out. So simple. However, uh, jump challenge. You got to bring one of the other vehicles. You can't do it in the jumper vehicle. How screwed up is that, man? That's me. <laughs> so instead of returning the vehicle, I just kept the jumping vehicle. I can't remember the name of it. But I went ahead and continued. Use a faster transport to find this spot in time. Good luck. 
Okay, you see that's on the very end corner of a bridge. So, uh... As I start off embarrassing myself, quite honestly. <laughs> it's right here. And I got to it the first time, but I drove off the edge and it didn't get it, so you have to get out. Not bad. We are pleased with your effort. Okay. Anywho, alright, what's next? I, um... Where am I going? Okay, I'm just going, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I'm going to the next challenge, okay. I couldn't describe this one where it was, that's what it was. I didn't know how to describe it. I just passed it, where am I going? I guess I'm going to the one way over here, huh? Um, why did I not cut this out? Find this spot quickly. Or face the pain of failure. Okay, so this one's just down the ways, just a little ways, and I did a stupid move when I jumped the car. I should have stayed on the car. It's right here, but when I jump, I jump out of the car. Why did I do that? <laughs> Anywho, guys, so yeah, there, we got that. Success once again. We are very proud to have chosen you. Yay. Oh, yeah, now we're going to look at the map real quick. Look at all these things we got left. We're 21 minutes through the video, and we have so many we haven't done yet. We won't get all of these in the, this video, and I'm guessing the next video is probably going to be part two of the desert mission, you know? Because look at them. Look at all of them we got left. It's ridiculous. Anywho, so the next one we do is going to be way over here. So the one I passed. Yeah, it's the one I passed. And uh, it's right here. And this is a... Uh, Follow the light kind of a thing. Don't use your peacemaker to blow up the other cars. It will blow up your vehicle. Just a side note there, like you just saw. Heroes must have quick feet. Get to this spot in time for a reward. Oh, I guess it's not a follow the light. That must be the next one. I did not make notes very well as to what was coming up next. And this one was a hard one to find. I tell you what, I probably did this one 20 times before I actually looked at the map that I have. You know, it's uh, around the corner here. You can't get it with that vehicle. That's what it is. That vehicle's too tall to grab them as you're going, unlike the Excellent. other vehicles. I see such promise in you. All right, next is one of the thingies where we have to be fast enough to follow the light. But real quick at the map here, we're going to look and see kind of how many we have left. I saw five in this area. So uh, we're just going to go to the first one, which is right up here. Yeah, this is the one where I have to follow the light around. Let us see how fast you really are. If you're fast enough to follow me, you can catch me at the end too slow. And I will vanish, as will your hopes to defeat this challenge. As you can see, it went from nighttime to daytime. That's how many times I failed this thing. But this one, it's actually kind of long. So, uh, and I do prefer to do missions like this in the day. Because you can see all the bumps and stuff around you better, you know? It's like driving at night's harder than driving during the day, especially if you don't have lights. But anywho, so we're just going to follow this little thingy. And let me take a drink. I'm running out of breath here. Uh, sadly, my commentary seems to be slightly better when I'm not playing, but that's because half my mind is concentrating on the gameplay while I'm playing. I thought I lost it here, but I did, I did not lose it. Thank God, because I would have been... I just really wanted to quit while I was capturing all this. Because the night I captured this wasn't a fun night. The, before I started, me and my girlfriend kind of got into a fight, so I was already ticked off when I started recording. I was hoping it would make me feel better, but no. No, it didn't, because of how many fails I did. But, I did it, and my post-commentary, I'm happy while I'm recording Very this. Nice. Are showing great promise. Yay, 
blow stuff up. Okay, now, um, let's just take one more time. See, we've got four or five over there, and there's more down there. A group, yeah, four here, and a group down there. So we'll get as much done as we can here. Why did I not do that challenge? Oh, I see. Because I cut there. That was the long race challenge, that thing we just passed. That was the long one with, you know, that I did three times. And the next one's right around the corner from it. And I don't remember exactly which one this is. Oh, you have to bring the sand shark. Why did I even show it? I guess so I could show you where this next one was. It's literally right across this way here. Not very far out of the way at all. Oh, I remember this one. Eight skull gems. Reach this point before time runs out. To succeed, you must stop the clock as often as you can. Touch freeze tokens to make time stand still. Some tokens stop time longer than others. Good luck. I think, yeah, I did. I got this my first try, surprisingly, because honestly, I am not any bit good at these things. I really am not. I hate these things. There's one in the city that you saw me try, I think. Either you saw me try it or I just said, screw it, I'm not doing this. Now, you have three different colored time stops. You have the blue, which adds a second of your extra time. The yellow adds two seconds of extra time. And the red adds three seconds of extra time. And you see you have your time that's left in the top center. Seven seconds left your extra time based on how many clocks you hit. I should have gone right there if you saw there was a yellow and a red and two blues rather versus the three blues that I went for I would have had seven seconds on that side versus the three seconds I had on this side but surprisingly this is not difficult I think this was actually meant to be done on your jet board but I did it in the car it is worth my way to go for the three seconds there I think because it did save some time to get those three seconds. I should have skipped that one second and went for the three immediately, the red rather than the blue. And for the luck, love, for, for whatever reason, I don't know why I didn't use any boosts. Probably because I didn't want to miss anything. Down to three seconds and we got it. You are a true hero, Jack. One for all ages. Okay, now we're going to go outside the city ruins, this little town here, not a city, more of a town. And there's a challenge right here. Four skull gems, not bad. Heroes must have quick feet. Get to this spot in time for a reward. Okay, and this took me a couple tries to get it, but it's actually surprising. You're looking at the uh, little piece you should go through right there and it, it's right here see uh, that didn't work quite Excellent. I didn't word that right I see such promise in you. anywho now we're going straight to the opposite side of the city here and there's another one of these things and this one was a first try thing find this spot quickly or face the pain of failure it was in plain sight so here it is and uh, didn't take any time at all to get there. See, there it is. Yay! Success once again. We are very proud to have chosen you. And now there's another one right here inside the city. Ring challenge. <coughs> Face this difficult ring challenge and show us your metal. This is actually was. It wasn't necessarily difficult, like he said. It was very, very time-consuming. This is the longest ring challenge I have ever done, by far. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh... I didn't speed this up. I don't know why. I think I was to give me some time to chat and catch my breath and talk about something more fun than just the game itself. Mm. I'm gonna take a drink here. I'll tell you what... I'm looking forward to Christmas. So I was talking to my mom the other day while I was coming home from work. <laughs> this was just on my lunch break. But anywho, 
I was talking to her, uh, walking up the steps to my apartment. And I said, oh, hey, UPS left me a note saying I have a package. What's this? My mom, did you send me a package? She's like, no, I didn't send you anything. I go, that's weird. I guess I better go get it before the apartment closes. I'm talking to her this whole time. And I was saying, man, I wonder who sent me a package because it doesn't have a from address. You know, it doesn't say it's from anybody. I'm getting ready to open it, and I'm on the phone with her. And she's like, wait, don't open it. It's your Christmas present. I had to send it straight to you. <laughs> so whatever she had ordered, instead of having them send it to her and then send it to me and pay double the shipping she just sent it straight to me and, and forgot about it you know <laughs> it was funny I would have opened my Christmas present right there with her on the phone and this was some day during the middle of last week of this past week so it might have been like the 6th or 7th and she's like don't open it <laughs> not bad with having to open my Christmas present you know 20 days early with while you're talking to your mom on the phone you know she sent it to you but luckily I didn't open it now you see how long this ring challenge is it brought me in here in the middle of all this surprisingly I think that the best vehicle to drive around in the desert is this vehicle because it doesn't tend to give me as many problems as all the other smaller vehicles they do they turn too fast too sharp this one's got more uh shock absorber so I hit a bump it doesn't affect me near as much as the other cars from what I can tell could be all BS and I'm just better at driving this car than the others I don't I don't know I know they all drive differently you know but uh yeah some of those new cars you don't want to drive those things I know I spent the orbs at unlocking all of them but geez some of those things if you turn You'll do full 360 if you do a slight turn, but you do it too sharp, you know? Because they turn on a freaking dime, man. But anyway, we're heading outside of the little nest here. I almost missed that one. I'm glad I didn't because this is a freaking long time challenge, or ring challenge. But it's, we're just heading back into the little town ruins here. And, uh, yeah. Not too bad at all really and uh, I think it's yeah here's the last one right here wonderful work warrior again we are impressed with your ingenuity yep you sure are aren't you so we are really rocking this out here guys we have getting we're getting a lot of orbs here so the next one here is just on the other side of this little circular motion, now in the center of the screen. Just on the other side of that are the next five challenges. So after I meet you, see I'm already just past that little circular motion here. I just wanted to skip getting there because I actually got lost on the way and went the total wrong direction. But here's the first challenge over here, and surprising is it's not something we've ever done before, I don't think, in a challenge. It's, uh, you have to fight off metalheads. So, yeah. All metalheads must be removed from the universe, or they destroy us. Yep, yeah, and as you see, I made a bad cut there. Didn't blend in at all. So, yeah, you just have to kill all these. In the you don't get any skull gems here, unfortunately. I don't think these metalheads have skull gems because they're babies. Um, but yeah, this isn't hard, it's just time consuming, you just have to kill 180 of these little guys. You, you have to use your guns wisely. See, I've never used that gun, I don't think, to actually do some killing. And, uh, but here it's really efficient, it works really well. I don't know if this was the best choice here or not, but that's what I went with. I don't want to blow up my vehicle, so I'm not going to even pull out the, uh, peacemaker not for nothing because I don't want it to accidentally be turning and blowing up my car you have amazed us again and we are rarely so with your help our dark foes will tremble before us and the universe may yet survive 
Yay! We got it done. Now, over here, I'm like, what is this? And, uh, I don't know what I'm pausing for right now. Uh, but anywho, yeah, this, this car stuck right here. Look at him. This is the game that we played that first time we met Seam. And uh, so we're going to play it again. To get the bronze, no big deal. 100 points, that's all you have to get. And I do actually get them here. I'm not going to speed this up at all so you can see the real time at the, that these things go by. So I don't speed this up. Getting to 100 is no big deal. 100 is not a problem. Getting to the silver is going to be a big freaking problem. Getting to the gold, I don't even imagine how that's going to be possible. And you're like, whoa, how many points could they possibly want? You know, you're thinking maybe 200 for the silver and 300 for the gold. No, no. I'm not going to tell you just yet. I was shocked when I saw how much you needed for the silver. Mine was blown away. And it's actually a crazy crazy totally outrageous number this is probably going to be the hardest thing I do I don't get this finish I do get the bronze I will not get the silver I will I don't even know how many you need to get the gold because I'm unable to get to the silver I only tried this like four times on the silver but then I gave up because it was taking way too long to record these areas and I was already a little irritated so I'm gonna have to do this at a time when I'm less irritated right now but for now that's not what I'm gonna do <laughs> side challenge is tough with a capital T here this is one of the worst side challenges it doesn't look so bad right now but once I show you what it gets to be like silver 500 look silver 500 freaking points look how fast these things are coming now it's crazy absolutely horrendous nightmare yeah see look how do you see how fast they were going and that was only like at 150 I have to get to 500 real quick here I'm gonna show you what the highest level I've gotten to doing this and I'm just going to show you a bit here that I'm starting. And right now we're going to cut on over to 250. See, look, there's three of them there. This is where it gets tough, guys. 282, 284, 280, 285. 285 is the highest amount I give a nice screw. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> yeah. So just down the shoreline here, following the shore, following the shore, oh the seashore, how it makes me happy. I don't know the words of that song. This spot was a place of reflection by the great warrior Ma. Reach it in time and the prize is yours. Oh the prize, on an island with three palm trees. Now this one freaked me out, this is not my first try I don't think. Because, see, this palm tree here, when you look at it at first, it looks like it's only two palm trees. So I thought it was the second one out there. But it is actually this one. See? Oh, no, I think I did get this my first try. Because that looked like an actual we'll cut there. Of you, warrior, as are we. That day star has gotten really big since the beginning of the game. I mean, it gets getting closer. Now, here, this is where you met Ashlyn the first time. After being in Sparga City for so long. This spot was a place of reflection by the great warrior Ma. Reach it in time, and the prize is yours. Okay, so this one wasn't hard at all. First try on the jet board, because I said, screw it, I'm just going to try to see if I can do one on the jet board. And I just barely, just barely get this. I mean, you see zero seconds left on the clock. Okay, I'm going to show you one more here, because I was going to continue and get a couple more before I quit, and I think we're almost done with the desert, actually. I really do, other than the two I haven't messed up on. Uh, it's gold gems for this. Heroes must show fast thinking to go with their fast movement. Beat 
this ring challenge for a reward. Now this ring challenge is long and tedious, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like and the fact that I failed. And I just, I was too tired to continue. I was too exhausted. Too slow for planet saving warrior. I did get pretty far, but here's where I give up, I think. And I kept, I quit because I didn't get ever that far. You know, it's just difficult. You have to have a smaller vehicle to do this, so I just keep giving up. See, right there, I gave up and said, screw it. Okay, guys, anywho, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it quits here. I know this is going slow, but just keep with me. We'll get this done, I promise you. Now, we're ending with 168 orbs. We have gained 113 orbs in this video. And we're down to 37 gems at this point, so, you know, so be it. But that's the end of the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Just, but remember, just stick with me. We'll get this done in about 10 videos, okay? Totals, I mean total, completely. I would say we'd get it done in a few days, but I'm not sure how consistent I'm gonna be. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Looking forward to it, guys. All right, see y'all next time. Bye-bye, have fun. See you later, guys.